for my first recipe with my new beautiful KitchenAid mixer, I'm going to make peanut butter cookies with chocolate and peanut butter chips inside using chunky peanut butter. It's going to be so easy. I have my oven preheated to 350 and let's show you how easy it is. First I'm going to add a stick of butter which is actually half a cup. You can cut this into three pieces if you want. Let me tilt my head up here. One, two, three. Easy so far. One half a cup of peanut butter, whatever kind you like. This is chunky, extra chunky, jiff. Half a cup of that. Peanut butter chip cookies. How's that look? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're going to beat that up with this scraping blade, which I like. Something new. Put it in. Lock it down. Crank it up for the first time. Mixing nicely. I'm going to go up to number six. Oh, yeah. What power. Look at that. Well, it looks blended pretty thoroughly. Doesn't that look good? See that? Hmm. Next step is one egg. Half a cup of white sugar, one half a cup of brown sugar, Ooh. and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Right in the bowl. Everybody in the bowl. I'm going to mix that on speed number four for one minute. Lock it down, number four. One minute. I'll be back in a minute. See how that new beater attachment with the silicone on the edge scrapes the side of the bowl really good. Nice. You turn this down to the stir setting and add the remaining ingredients which is one and one quarter cups of flour. Now I can put my shield on here. And I add these ingredients. Just for fun, because I have it. One and a quarter cups of flour. Going in. Oh yeah. One third of a teaspoon of salt, which I'm gonna estimate. About a third of a teaspoon of salt. One half a teaspoon of baking soda. Level. Now I'm going to turn to speed two. Make sure we're mixed thoroughly. Don't really need this shield, it looks like, but I like using it because I had it. And it looks like real nice cookie dough right now. And I see the chunks of peanuts in there. Because I chose chunky peanut butter. Alright. We stop that. See how it looks. Don't scrape down the edges. And add my chips. If you're making traditional peanut butter cookies, for the holidays or whatever. You don't have to add chips, but I think I might like them. Scrape them down. 
boy, it smells so good. I like to eat this batter. I'm gonna put about a, almost a cup of chips in here, I think. See, this is our Toll House, milk chocolate and peanut butter flavored. I'm gonna pour them in this cup. This is a cup. One cup of those chips. Pour it in. I'm gonna go back on the stir speed for the final stir. I don't want to chop up my chunk, chunks of chips too bad. <laughs> That's mixed good. It is. Look how delicious it looks. Oh, I wish I could smell it though, too. Comes off that beater nicely. Now, I am going to take a taste of that. I probably shouldn't, should I? No. Nope. <laughs> Ow! Okay, we're done with our mixer. Thank you. Nice. Beautiful. I have two cookie sheets. I'm going to use parchment paper because it's handy. I'm going to try to keep these cookies all the same size, so I'm going to take my old classic ice cream scooper. Take a scoop, scoop it into your hand, roll it in a ball like traditional peanut butter cookies, and that's that. Boy, they're going to be good. They're going to be a nice size too. They're all going to be about the same size. Remember we used to press a fork in those because you do this, even though they're chips? Mm-hmm. Mmm, it smells so good. It doesn't stick to your hands too bad either. They're going to spread out good. Only six, you think? Mm hmm. They're going to be good. You're going to want one. Oh, this is a bigger one. Get my fork. Remember, we used to do that. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I guess you could make them smaller and get more on one cookie sheet. But I made them bigger. I like them like that. Look at. Let me put that in the oven right away for about 12 minutes. Okay, real oven today. Oh yeah. Mm, let me set my timer up here. Is that hours or minutes? All right, that's about 11 minutes. Just to give me an idea. Because I gotta get these in there yet too. Delicious. If I made them half this size, there would be twice as many cookies. <laughs> but I'm just happy to use this for the first time. And later tonight, we're gonna make meatloaf and mashed potatoes. I'm making mashed potatoes in my mixer. And Kathy's making meatloaf in hers. And that's gonna be on Kathy's channel. That'll be our supper today, that might be on tomorrow morning or what do you think yeah. looks like I'm gonna get six and six one dozen cookies big ones you might have to bake them a little longer then oh because they're big mm-hmm they ain't enough to share I'm sorry <laughs> baker dozen I'm gonna get 13 out of it that means I'm a baker yep that's what I got 
baker's dozen of large peanut butter chip cookies. Let me see this one. Champion. Yeah, I could have made about 20 some if I didn't make them so big. What do you think? But I like them. You're gonna like them too. It was easy, wasn't it? You probably have most of these ingredients already. Come on in the oven. Boy, they're gonna be good. Award-winning cookies. Whoa, yes. Okay, we'll check on about 10, 11 minutes or so. My timer went off. Isn't that nice? Isn't that handy and convenient? Oh boy, look at these cookies. Oh, look. Woo. Now remember, you could have made them smaller and made a lot more. And with that five quart bowl the KitchenAid had, you could have quadrupled this recipe. If you want twice as many, double my recipe. If you want more, more it. Let them sit a little bit. Oh, they smell so good. You know, the peanut butter cookies are usually smaller than that, but we supersized them. Wanna see the other one? Mm hmm? Oh, yes. I heard you. Look at those. Acknowledge. Okay. Now I got free heat. I'm gonna heat the house with that oven heat. What do you think of that? I'm gonna let these sit for about five, 10 minutes. Give me a nice glass of milk and taste them up. Look at those. Don't they look nice? Chips in there, remember? Peanut butter and chocolate chips. Smell them. Oh boy. They smell so good. Be back when they're a little bit cooler. Here we go. Yeah, we probably could have just slid this off onto the table, right? But look. Oh, oh, I like them like that. Mmm. Which one do I want to taste first? I have some milk. What do you think? Mmm. Just like those peanut butter cookies I remember. Except a little bigger, and chunky peanut butter, and peanut butter chips, and chocolate chips. Tool house morsels. Mmm, so good. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to eat the rest of my cookies. Try my recipe, you'll love it in your KitchenAid mixer or your hand mixer <laughs> that's a lot better than this isn't it but this is fun all right stay tuned for our meatloaf and buttery cheesy mashed potatoes coming up for supper on Kathy's channel have a nice day please subscribe Make some cookies. Mm.